Question 21. What are TB reporting requirements? Answer. State laws and regulations require that TB infection, suspected TB, or cases of tuberculosis be reported to the Mississippi State Department of Health. Active TB must be reported within 24 hours of first suspicion. Specific information on reporting requirement may be found in the rules and regulations governing reportable diseases. M. S. D. H. provides treatment and follow-up of all TB patients and contacts. Question 22. How is TB controlled in correctional facilities? Answer. The transmission of mycobacterium tuberculosis in correctional facilities presents a public health problem for correctional facility employees and inmates and the communities into which untreated inmates may be released. A primary reason for the high risk of TB infection and TB disease in correctional facilities is the disproportionate number of inmates who have risk factors for exposure to TB or, if infected, for development of active disease. These risk factors include crowded communal living, infection with HIV, substance abuse, and being a member of a lower socio-economic population that has poor access to health care. With this in mind, the Department of Health and the Department of Corrections work collaboratively to ensure all inmates and employees are tested for tuberculosis and that those found to be infected are appropriately treated. This helps stop the spread of TB and helps protect all communities statewide. Wide. Additionally, the state TB program has assigned nurses to all three state correctional facilities to ensure open communication with the facilities, address questions and concerns, monitor patient progress, ensure appropriate treatment and follow-up, and facilitate discharge planning for TB and HIV patients. Question 23. What is multidrug resistant tuberculosis? M. D. R. T. B. Answer. Multidrug resistant TB. M. D. R. T. B. Is tuberculosis disease in which the TB bacterium is resistant to isoniazid and revamping. The two strongest anti tuberculosis medications. TB can become resistant to antibiotics when the drugs are misused or mismanaged. When patients do not complete their full course of treatment. When healthcare providers prescribe the wrong treatment the wrong dose or length of time for taking the drugs or when the drugs are of poor quality. Treating M. D. R. T. B. is complicated and involves the use of second-line medications that carry greater risk of side effects and adverse reactions. Patients taking these drugs must be monitored closely throughout the course of treatment. The regimen usually requires at least 18 to 24 months and must be individualized based upon the patient's medical history. Treatment for patients co-infected with HIV can be more complicated, usually further lengthening treatment time. Question 24. What is extensively drug-resistant tuberculosis? X. D. R. T. B. Answer. Extensively drug-resistant TB. X. D. R. T. B. Is a relatively rare type of M. D. R. T. B. X. D. R. T. B. Is defined as TB which is resistant to ionized and revamping plus resistant to any fluoroquinolone and at least one of three injectable second-line drugs i.e. amicacin, canamycin, or capriomycin because X. D. RTB is resistant to first-line and second-line drugs. Patients are left with treatment options that are much less effective and may require prolonged treatment. Question 25. Can people contract bovine tuberculosis? Answer. Yes. Bovine tuberculosis refers to infection with bacteria called Mycobacterium bovis and M. bovis. Mycobacterium bovis is related to another organism that causes tuberculosis in humans. Mycobacterium tuberculosis but M. bovis is found most commonly in cattle and other animals. People can become infected with M. bovis when they consume raw milk and unpasteurized dairy products. Symptoms of bovine tuberculosis losses in people depend on the parts of the body infected. Most infections result in no or only mild symptoms, including fever, night sweats, abdominal pain, and diarrhea. A comprehensive testing program conducted by the U.S. Department of Agriculture, state animal health agencies, and livestock ranchers has virtually eliminated bovine tuberculosis from cattle in the United States. However, bovine tuberculosis remains common in many developing countries, and persons should refrain from consuming imported dairy products that are not pasteurized. Question 26. What is a TB contact? Answer. 
A TB contact is a person that has been exposed to TB. TB contacts are ranked from high priority to low. High priority means either the person has had prolonged exposure or that the person is highly susceptible to becoming infected and progressing to TB disease. Children under the age of 5 or persons infected with HIV or on immunosuppressive therapy contacts should be promptly tested once exposure is known and tested again about 10 weeks after the last known exposure. If either test is positive, the person is considered infected and requires additional follow-up and treatment. Question 27. What is the incubation period of tuberculosis? Answer. From infection to development of a positive TB test, the incubation period can take 2 to 10 weeks. The risk for developing active disease is the highest in the first two years after infection. If not treated, a risk continues throughout your lifetime. Question 28. What is DOT? Answer. DOT directly observed therapy means that a trained healthcare worker or other designated individual, excluding a family member, provides the prescribed TB drugs and watches the patient swallow every dose. DOT is the most effective strategy for making sure patients take their medicines. Mississippi was the first state to adopt DOT as the standard of care. It is now recommended by the Centers for Disease Control and World Health Organization as the standard for treating TB. Question 29. Why use DOT? Answer. We cannot predict who will talk medications as directed and who will not. People from all social classes, educational backgrounds, ages, genders, and ethnicities can have problems taking medications correctly. Studies show that 86 to 90 percent of patients receiving DOT complete their therapy compared to 61 percent for those on self-administered therapy. DOT helps patients finish TB therapy as quickly as possible without unnecessary gaps. Dot helps prevent TB from spreading to others. Dot decreases the risk of drug resistance resulting from erratic or incomplete treatment. Dot decreases the chances of treatment failure and relapse. Question 30. Who can provide DOT? Answer. A nurse or other trained healthcare worker from the patient's county public health department normally provides DOT. In some situations, it works best for clinics, home care agencies, correctional facilities, treatment centers, schools, employers, and other facilities to provide DOT. Under the guidance of the local health department, family members should not be used for DOT. DOT providers must remain objective for complex regimens including I. V slash I M medications or twice daily dosing. Home care agencies may provide DOT or share responsibilities with the local health department. If resources for providing DOT are limited, priority should be given to patients most at risk. In some cases observed therapy may be performed using live streaming video.